Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my week seven NFL predictions. Seven, yeah, we're, we're already in week seven. That's just, it's not fair, it's not fair. Anyway, last week I'm coming off of a pretty rough record of nine and six, making my total record 59 and 37. I wanted last week to get me above a 2.0 and it actually set me back. So this week I have to go 13 and 0, otherwise I'm just deleting this channel. Couple of quick plugs guys, don't forget to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks, where you can save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products or match up to $100 of your first deposit. Also, NBA fans, much like the NFL's free square, we're giving you guys one and it's Steph Curry. All he needs to do is score a point on opening night for that line to win. But that's all I got for plugs. Let's hop into my week seven NFL predictions. All right, so kicking off week seven with Thursday night football, we've got the Jags at the Saints. Also, I just want to say right away, this is probably a top three game of this week. We got some really, really lousy matchups. Anyway, my prediction for this game is the Jags to win by one point, 24 to 23. Look, the Saints really confuse me. They'll either go out and wreck a team or they'll go out and get completely slaughtered. I think they're a good team. I think they got better receivers in Jacksonville, but I think Jacksonville is much better at calling plays and I think they're a lot better at winning games when it actually matters. It'll be entertaining, but uh, I think the Saints are gonna go marching down. All right, next game we got is back to Sunday at noon. We've got the Falcons at Tampa Bay. I got the Bucks winning this game by three points. Look, Baker will struggle against that secondary, but I do believe Mike and Chris will get open enough to score a few touchdowns. And as far as Atlanta goes, I mean, their run game seems to be a pretty dominant part of their offense on most weeks, and Tampa is ranked fifth best against stopping the run, meaning this game is gonna be left in the hands of Desmond Ritter to win it. Well, we all know that ain't gonna happen. He'll get super overwhelmed, throw three passes, directly to Tampa Bay defenders. Arthur Smith is gonna kick him in the ass and the Bucks will win 20 to 17. All right, next game I got is the Raiders at the Bears. This is gonna be another boring game and another close game. I got the Raiders winning 17 to 14. You want a reason why? I don't have one other than the fact that I guess I think the Raiders are a better team. But when it comes to both of these organizations, I don't give a flying fuck about them. And I would have cared about the Bears if they would have actually turned into something, but they didn't. They're shit. Also, both starting quarterbacks are maybes, and strong maybes. Justin has a dislocated thumb, Jimmy has a bad back, but he did dodge a bullet. However, it leaves the game as a huge mystery right now. So, like I said, I'll take Vegas, 17-14, but if you guys win, please look at the opponents you have defeated before you start talking shit. And that'll take us to the Browns at the Colts. You guys see what I mean by when I say this week is shit? Anyway, the Browns are gonna kill him 30 to 10 here. If they have Deshaun, I'm feeling more positive about it, but even if they don't have him, they still have a team that was good enough to beat the 49ers. Therefore, logically, they will murder the Colts. And I really don't feel strong about Gardner coming off of his last week's performance going against now who is considered the best defense in the league. Fantasy owners, I'm trying to help you. If you have Jonathan Taylor, do not play him this week. Just wait, don't do it to yourself. And if you're thinking Zach Moss, I'm not doing that either because his carries are diminishing more and more every week as Jonathan gets up to par, but he ain't up to par yet. Meaning I, I think this week is going to be a flat line of nothing. Up next, we've got the Commanders at the Giants. Can we please get a good game? God damn. I got Washington winning 24-19 here. It's gonna be a weird game. It's gonna be a weird score. Again, I don't have a lot of reasons behind this other than the fact that I guess I just think the Commanders are a better team, but I do have concern about Jahan Dotson. What is going on with him? I really liked him. I expected big things from this year. And not only have I not really heard his name once, but the one time I did, it was a low light of him dropping a wide open pass. Also, did you you guys know Sam Howell's been sacked 34 times already this year? Like, what the hell? I know he runs into a lot of them, but damn, 34? Don't let me down, Commanders. Don't let me down. All right, moving on. We got the Lions at the Ravens, and finally, we have a good game. And this is a pick I could see myself being wrong on, but look, I ain't not going to not pick the hottest team in the league. I'll take Detroit to win this 33 to 24. And here's the crazy thing about what I just said. You know, that score was really high. Well, Detroit's run D is ranked number one and Baltimore's pass D is ranked number two, meaning how would a score like that happen with these teams? Well, because it's the Lions and they don't have fucking pillow fights. Anytime the Lions play, it's a goddamn shootout and that's what this is gonna be. Hutch is gonna force a fumble. Amon Ra is gonna catch for 150 and the Lions are gonna be six and one. 
Now moving out, we got the Bills at the Patriots. Uh, Bills win 23 to 20. Look, the New England Patriots have been playing like ass all year, even at home lately. But this is against the Bills, and every single time they play the Bills, they have to play tough. But there is logically no reason that the Patriots should win this game. I I'm not going to pick them. I don't think anybody's going to pick them. This is a game, like I said, I should be predicting a 60-0 blowout while playing a Rubik's Cube right now or doing something. I, I shouldn't actually be concerned about this, but I am because not only have we not looked good, but we are losing players every single week to injuries. Again, Buffalo, I'm not asking you to win this game. I'm telling you to. And please, for me, make this entertaining and make it dominant so I can have confidence in you again. Also, fuck the Patriots. All right, now we got the Cardinals at Seahawks. Woo! Look, I kind of feel an upset here, but I'm not going to pick it. I'll take Seattle to win this game 21-13. They got a good team. They got a good defense. And I really wonder why their fans overreact so much. And I'm not just, like, pulling this out of my ass. I swear, every single time the Seahawks lose a game, their fans go on Twitter and act like they need to rebuild their entire team. Guys, it ain't that deep. You're still good. Sorry Gino had a bad day. You know who else has bad days? Everyone! You guys are fine. Calm the fuck down. All right, now we got the Steelers at the Rams. This game is gonna suck. It's gonna be so boring, dude. I got Steelers winning 14 to 10. I think the Steelers defense will be able to combat with the Rams offense, you know, reasonably enough to keep them out of the end zone majority of the time. And I also don't think Stafford has enough mobility to get out of the jams that he's gonna be in this game. I think he's gonna have a lot of pressure and I think he's gonna get sacked a lot. But at the same time, the Steelers offense is not good. Their play caller is not good. So I don't see them having an easy time scoring either, meaning I think the game is just gonna be lousy. 14 to 10, the Steelers win. All right, moving on to the next game. It is the Chargers at Kansas City. I understand if you think this is going to be a good game, but I, I don't. I think Kansas City is going to slap the living shit out of the Chargers, 46 to 20. If you think Brandon Staley is going to walk into Arrowhead and beat the Chiefs, I, I think you're nuts. I would love to believe in LA, but I, I can't. I just cannot do it. I legit think this is just going to be a three-hour ass paddling. Like, that's it. And now moving on, we've got the Packers at the Broncos. Sick, yeah! Green Bay will win 10 to 9. This will be the worst game we've ever seen. There is nothing to look forward to here. And for the record, I expect to see probably triple Packer fans than I do Denver fans in their own house. Nobody is going to want to watch this, man. And that includes me. Like, I'm not going to turn it on for even a second. Green Bay, you squeak by. All right, next game we got is the Dolphins at the Eagles in Sunday night football. Finally, a good game. I got the Eagles winning this game 33 to 27. I can't pick the enemy here. I'm rooting for them to lose, so I need them to lose. But here's the thing about it. If Jalen doesn't screw his head on tight, the Eagles aren't going to win this game. You guys remember three weeks ago when I said Jalen so far this year has been just solid and that's at best? And I got yelled at by a lot of people. I was fucking right the whole time. He's been ass. But I believe he can turn it around, especially against a defense like Miami's. And Philly can come out on top. And Miami, by the way, I'm going to go back on yesterday and talk a little bit because what I said about you guys, you know, how you haven't beat a good team, this is another great test for you with the Eagles. And if you guys go out there and lose by 7 points, 14 points, something like that, I'm going to respect you. But if you guys go out there and get the absolute shit blown out of you, there are going to be a lot of questions you need to answer. And now we will move on to Monday Night Football, the 49ers at the Vikings. First off, I want to say I'm sorry there is no dad pick this week because my iPhone and computer don't get along anymore, and if I try and upload a clip, the whole thing blue screens. So I'm sorry, Dad, and he doesn't want me to say his pick either because he doesn't want to jinx himself. Anyway, my pick for the Vikings 49ers game is going to be the 49ers. However, this is again an upset window, but I, I will not pick it. I think the Niners will win 28-17, have a monumental bounce back, and then send the entire state of Minnesota into a depression. And I know it might sound like recent weeks that I hate the Vikings, Vikings. I don't hate the Vikings. I support the Vikings. Last week, I doubted you without Jefferson. My bad. This week, I'm doubting you fighting against a literal tank. My bad. Anyway, guys, that is going to be all for my week seven NFL predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you already know what to do to show support. And please hit that bell because I try to post on this channel every single day. Want to let you guys know too, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, just know that I enjoy this job so much. And I have a ton of fun interacting with all of you guys, whether we're bickering or whether we're joking. So do not feel scared to comment on this video. Anyway, take care, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video.